Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to One Step From Eden, or welcome back to it if you caught my preview of this a uh, couple months ago. Uh, so this is a game that I've actually been looking forward to for, jeez, like two years now. I saw it show up on itch.io ages back, and I was like, oh man, this look, there's mods in this game. Okay, that's exciting. Uh, I, I love the fact that there's just a straight up option in the bottom left corner that says mods. Oh, oh yes. Anyway, so yeah, I saw it on itch.io and I'm like, oh, this looks great. And follow the developer. Got to talk to the developer a year ago at PAX East, um, 2018. And that was, was it 2018? Yeah, it was 2018. And that was really, pl no, it was 2019. It was, it was actually about a year ago. Yeah, but so I got to talk to Thomas Moon Kang for quite some time. Uh, he had a booth right next to the Arcade Spirits booth, and so we were hanging out and chatting, because it was like a slow period, and the Facebook people were yelling and some other stuff. It was just a lovely conversation. I felt kind of bad, because he was kind of trying to give me like a little bit of an elevator pitch for One Step for Me, and I'm like, I've already played your game. <laughs> um, but he was kind enough to actually seek me out after the fact and send me a demo. Uh, which I covered, and then I've technically gotten a couple more demos over uh, over the past like month or two, but um, I just haven't played them because I wanted to save my enthusiasm for this. So I guess without further ado, let's get going. I guess I should probably describe what this game is. It's Mega Man Battle Network, but is a roguelike, and kind of cross with Slay the Spire. That's the easiest way I can describe it. There's also a bunch of different characters. It's super cool. Uh, let's just get let's just get going. Looks like we got different loadouts, a bunch of other things. Oh boy! Hi, this is gonna be fun. Okay, move A B spells R for weapon. I think I didn't even know I had weapons when I first played this. Okay, might have to turn the sound effects down. Oops. There we go. Uh, let's see, settings. Oh, they're streaming, perfect. We're gonna turn sound, uh, sound effects down. And music up. But yeah, there's streaming. Uh, oops. Turn the screen shake down to 11, oh no. We'll do half, half is good enough. Let's see, aim marker's on, that's good. Streaming, do I wanna deal with this? No, let's leave that for later. Okay, that might be too loud. Okay, victory. Take a spell. Throw a structure that hits surrounding tiles when you shuffle. If you have fragile, double its HP. On flow, flow cast. If you have one flow trigger, flow, gain one flow, lose one flow. Huh. On flow, return this to your deck. Gain flow and also anchor. Also shotgun. Let's do shotgun. And I might have to turn the music back down just a bit. Okay, look at your spells. Practice using spells, when and when they're ready, choose your path to Eden. Okay, cool. So yeah, we have energy at the bottom, which is how much I can actually use my spells. Oh, shotgun's a little bit more limited than I thought it would be. Okay, and I can just cycle things out. Well, this will be fun. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna turn the music down by, like, maybe 5%. That should be good. Okay, you can preview spells in the reward screen. Cool. I will pay more attention to that. So we have battle, distress, hazard, camp, shop, treasure, and a mini boss. So... Hazard. Uh, let's see. I, you know, I honestly have no idea which one we're going to go for. I need help. My hero. So is that just kind of a puzzle? Kill the thing? Okay, freeze for five seconds, restore two mana, anchor, fire a zigzagging shot, or whirl. Oh, preview. I like zigzag. And we level up. Gain one max mana, restore mana when frost damage is dealt, gain haste when you shuffle. Let's go mana gem. Alright, and we can't go places. Oh!
Okay, this thing's kind of frustrating. Luckily... Got him. Holy crap, that wrecked him. Alright, we heal up and get some other stuff. So, add two kunais to your deck. Kunai, throw a knife, four tiles away, consume. Uh, edible knives, hit tile, or fire a shot from each structure. Ooh, structures sound fun. Let's do kunai, though. Let's just spitfire things for a little while. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mid-boss, followed by distress, or regular fight, shop, and then boss. Let's do mid-boss. Ow, 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 ow. There we go. I'm going to be taking a lot of damage because dodging with the stick doesn't work. i got to remember to use the D-pad. Alright. Bandage or knife belt? I'm a little injured, but I'm going to do knife belt. More knives! Okay. 10 damage to all enemies when you get hit. We'll go with that. Healing is for later. What is this? Okay, so note to self. I am a dirtbag. I don't think I do well with close range stuff. Shot that does 60 poison. Hit the last target you hit, or that hit you. Wide piercing shot pushes the target up. That's cheap. We'll go with that. Okay. Purchases. Wanna buy something? Just open the deck. Uh, let's see. How do we even... Nope. I punched her. How do I open deck? Okay. ST. Or Okay. I'm covering the buttons with my face cam. I apologize. There's not really a good spot to put them, unfortunately. Okay, so we can... Uh... So, packs. Lose 2 max mana, gain 5 luck. Swords hit your tile during battle, gain 150 max HP. Refresh stock. Remove a spell, upgrade a spell. How much... Okay, I have 65. I have enough to get rid of one thing. Or do some other stuff. So these are artifacts. I can't afford those anyway. Let's... Okay. Oh, okay, so I can upgrade one of these. Let me upgrade Poison Dart. That sounds kind of fun. Okay. So, extra poison... Fire shield. So this would apply 75 poison. This would have. Let's actually go for the one that has the chance to do fire. Okay. No! I was gonna remove shotgun. I have a Mora! Alright, whatever.
This is rough. How did I kick ass so hard the first time I played this? Okay, sometimes she comes close. There we go. Got it. Sorry, everyone. Onward. Okay, Riva. I don't know. Let's go to the forest. Wait, what? She healed up? I'm confused. Okay, stay away from the poison loot monster. And it's dead. Okay, so we get a medic. Medic heals us. Fair bit, actually. I right, take a spell. Skip upgrades preview. When this hits, give the target 180 shields. Root enemies, three seconds. I'm gonna skip these, I think. Okay. So we have Hazard, another Distress, if I can manage it. Let's go for the Hazard. I think we're good. All right. Fire Rock, unflow cast twice. Fire Shot that leaves a flame on hit. Double cast ma plus mana cost. Gain shield, apply fragile on hit. Let's go with PK Fire. It looks like it's got a bit of random generation going on, but I'm fine with that. All right. Okay, shotgun is better than I give it credit for. It does horrid things to people. Alright. Hit the four center tiles of the enemy field and crack them. Sure, ion cannon. We're absolutely going to experience some horrid deck bloat here. Got it. Okay, so that thing was just shooting. Didn't even care. Gain money when you kill a hostage. Heal up. I'm a terrible person, but considering I keep killing them, uh, why not? Gain shield when you shuffle. Uh, let's go shopping. Okay, so start is ST. Got it. All right, so I can't remove anything else. I can't afford an upgrade. Do you want to pick up a pact? Lose 100 defense. Not a big fan of either of those. And I'm pretty dang poor. I'm going to pick that up. It's probably a dumb idea. But that's fine. There we go. Gets us a medic. I don't actually want to kill her normally, but still. Shot deals damage of spell in another slot. That sounds kind of fun. Could be completely useless. I'm doing 
I'm doing nothing but bad things today. Magic is overrated. Ooh. Ow. Asshole just has a gun. Okay. There we go. Shotgun is really strong. Damn it. I guess we're going to Ice Town. <sighs> oh, so I can, like, spare them? That's interesting. Save me. Okay, so far so good. Uh, let's see. Swords fall in front, root, verge, shots, four tiles away. Hit all tiles diagonal from you. That sounds really good if I can actually catch something. So sparing unlocks them as a playable and gives you a heal, and they help you later. Well, that's really cool. Okay, let's keep going for the distress, if I can manage. Ow! Okay, not really worth it. Full shots, if Trinity is full, cast twice. Gain one Trinity. Sure. I'm just gonna keep picking up weird spells. There we go. Okay, reduce shuffle time by a second. Fire shot four tiles away for every jam you cast. Fire piercing laser lasers add two jams. There's a lot of interesting builds here. Most of them I'm not super keen on. Like, there's a jam build here. Fire shot four tiles away for every jam you cast this battle. But that's actually, that's really good. It's a little too late, but still. Uh, keep going for the mid boss. Oh, whoops. Killed the shit out of her. Got him. Uh, let's see. Undershirt, gain two defense, force spell power, and fragile. 
Go with that. We level up again. Max mana. Mana regen for every broken tile. Chance to... Yeah, let's go with the Heat Seeker. The extra mana might not have been a bad idea, but still. You owe me. Die! I can't imagine that actually worked out. Oh, she died. I gotta remember, I actually have a weapon that I can use, too. Okay, restore mana when... Sure. Whenever you kill an enemy. Fire shot that applies to you, Fragile. On flow, restore mana. Cast the spell in the other slot and consume it. We'll do Glassify. I thought the campfire was supposed to be like a Healy spot. Oh, no, no. We already did the campfire. Sorry, brain. Violet. Yeah, I really don't know what to do with that, like, overall white move. Oh! Because she does, like, a stage-wide nuke. Like that one. Oh, I see. I see how that's supposed to work. Got her. Music never dies. I got wrecked. Onward! I need that healing. Let's go here. <laughs> Bango. I gotta I really gotta get used to the idea of using my weapon. Just Freaking learning it, remembering that it's there is awkward. Piercing laser, add jam. Yes. Okay. Onwards. So. Campfire down this way. There's a shop up this way. There we go. Alright. 
Uh, diagonal tiles, diagonal tiles, column of fire. Go with that. Keep going. There we go. All right. It's working a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Spikes away the last 20 seconds. If you have a fragile teleport. I'm just going to keep grabbing random spells. Extra mana regen seems like a really good idea. Seeing as I'm just spitting spells, for better or worse. Ow. I got them all. Okay. Turns out the firewall works really well. Uh, uh, I already know I'm going to die, so let's just own it and glass cannon as hard as we can. I don't know what those are. Bubble. You have five flow, gain defense. Not the most helpful. Summon a monument that falls. Summons blocks, deals damage when destroyed. Okay. So what can we do? So I'm obviously injured, which sucks. That said, we got some stuff. So, Max Man is pretty good. Okay, so let's upgrade some things. Can I upgrade? Oh, I see. So, these are already upgraded. Start with the firewall. Bonus 20 damage. Might as well do that. Upgrade Jam Slam. I'm digging the double cast. Let's upgrade Undertow. We're just gonna go for everything double casts. It'll be expensive, but that's life. All right, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty burnt here. Yep. Dust to dust. Pretty sure I'm dead. Yep, there we go. One leap from Eden. Still, did fairly well for having no freaking clue what I was doing, all things considered. And it looks like we got some unlocks eventually. Alright, so it doesn't look like we've picked up any new characters yet. Oh. Wait, is that a... That's a crosscode reference outfit. Cute. I, I know they were actually uh, passing fan art back and forth between each other, uh, but... I like that. I don't know. That's that's really all that needs to be said. So, uh, a couple of things before we stop for now. Uh, this game will be out in nine days, which is what? The 23rd? Give or take? I, I think it's the 23rd. 
And I'm super stoked. This is one of the top roguelikes that I've been, like, really looking forward to. And there have been a boatload over the past, like, couple of years. And so, uh, I, I guess I would say that saying something? I don't know. Just, I used to play a fair bit of Battle Network when I was younger. And so, kind of the return to form with this game is, well, I guess it's not really return to form. But, like, you know, if, if they're not going to be making any new Battle Network games and we get stuff like this, I'm super fine with this. 26, not 23rd. Sorry, I can count. I thought, I thought this was... This was days ago. I'm <laughs> sorry, I've lost all sense of timing. So, 26th. Uh, God, I have no idea how much it's going to cost. I'm assuming 15 bucks. That's the usual, like, ballpark. But it could be wrong. It doesn't say on, on any of these things. Um, and I believe it's going to be out. I know it's out on Steam, and I'm pretty sure it's also going to be out on the Switch. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see... Uh, more One Step for Meaden. I'm about to go record like a bunch more, so there's that. But, uh, yeah. Big, big long series on YouTube. I want to unlock the shopkeeper. <laughs> anyway. With that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.